Diana Ruth found her home at the Temple Sinai, the only temple in Sumter. I walked in for a service and they laugh and say that Diana came and she'd never left. Now as membership fades, she devotes herself to telling the stories of Jewish people in the city to keep the synagogue and its story alive. Well, we have groups that come in. Um, it's, to me, it's just thrilling to take them around. The History Center, a highlight of their visit. Annie Rivers oversees the space. We go into Jewish settlement in South Carolina and then that leads into Jewish settlement and life in Sumter. Jewish businesses thrived in Sumter in the late 1800s with dry goods, department stores, and shoe shops downtown. By the 60s, the temple was seeing more than 200 members, leaders say. We had a very big Jewish population. It's only recently started to dwindle down. Today, roughly 30 members call this temple home, many elderly. They ended up doing a lot of intermarriage. That would lead to the Jewish person often attending the church with the spouse instead. So they would leave the congregation here, and then you'd have um, younger generations leaving Sumter for better employment opportunities. While the History Center offers a lifeline to the temple, Ruth says she worries one day no members will fill these pews. Each week, she dedicates herself to telling their stories. You need to know about the Jewish faith. You need to know what happened to the people in the Holocaust so it doesn't happen again. Um, you just, the history needs to stay alive. The Temple History Center is open Thursday through Saturday. Find more details on our website, WLTX.com. For Street Squad Sumter, I'm Kaylin Hagwood.